The new League of Ireland season kicks off on March the 12th. Shamrock Rovers against Dundalk in the President's Cup at Tallaght Stadium. And this game will see the introduction of concussion substitutes for the first time in Ireland. Joining us to discuss this trial is the FEI's Medical Director, Dr Alan Bourne. Alan, why now and what is the driving factor behind this current FIFA campaign on concussion? Well, thanks, Carl. Um, like, concussion is a, is a very important topic uh, in the area of football medicine that specifically obviously relates to player welfare and FIFA and indeed UEFA over many, many years have been involved in studies around concussion. And this is really uh, another area of research development uh, from FIFA. And it's something I very much welcome. I suppose a couple of the aims of the research project is around uh, obviously player welfare to minimize the risk of multiple concussions, to reduce the pressure on the medical staff to make speedy decisions. It sends a, a strong message out around player welfare that if in doubt, we should sit it out. Uh, I don't think we can ever be done with educating and making people more aware of this topic. Um, I think there has been growing awareness over the last uh, decade or even longer, uh, but I don't think, you know, uh, there's um, ever, you know, a reason not to continue to try and educate and make people aware. It's also a, a system that is applicable across the levels of football, right down to the areas where there are no medical staff uh, or no physiotherapy staff available at these competitions. So overall, to be very welcome to Cahill. The ex experiment, Alan, is going to start in, in the President's Cup and then it's going to be used across the SSA Airtricity Premier Division, the SSA Airtricity First Division and the SSA Airtricity Women's National League. The National League executive and the clubs have endorsed the FEI decision to go with Protocol B as part of this concussion trial. Can you tell us what does Protocol B entail exactly, Alan? I, so essentially these are permanent concussion substitutes. So. If a decision is made that a player is injured, is obviously concussed, for example, uh, has a head injury, the referee, and I say our, our referee colleagues have been really helpful in all of this area over the last number of years. But if a player has obviously had a head injury and is concussed, that it's an easy decision that the player comes off and there's no uh, other decision that needs to be made, that the player comes off for their well being and enables the coach to then make a concussion substitute, which doesn't impact upon the uh, ability of the coach to make additional uh, substitutions as per the laws of the game. So, so that's one distinct advantage. Uh, it also allows the opposition uh, to make a substitution, not necessarily at that time, but in relation to that substitution. So they get a there's no numerical or tactical advantage around this. It's really focused on, on player welfare. As we said, Alan, the, the experiment will begin with the President's Cup between Shamrock Rovers and Dundalk. How long will the trial last for? So the trial is operational from uh, the beginning of this year, is available to all leagues. We've, uh, we've applied for that uh, to take part in Protocol B to FIFA, and we've been, our, uh, our application has been accepted. Um, it will run for the whole season. Uh, we will provide FIFA with information on a regular basis around the the, the, the games, you know, which teams are playing, the, um, the number of matches, uh, and also medical information around, you know, the type of injuries that have occurred and how the players have been assessed afterwards uh, and on an ongoing basis. So it will be a very significant database, not just in relation to the Premier Division, the First Division and the Women's National League. But as you can imagine, if this, as I expected, will be taken up across uh, the world, we're going to gather a hell of a lot of information, which again, you would hope, will be turned into action and allow us again to protect uh, the welfare of our players, which is the primary aim of this trial. And for those of us watching in the stand or watching back on, at home on television, is there anything particular we notice that's going to be different about this? Not really. I, I suppose, you know, obviously the referee and the fourth official, and I believe uh, Tomás Connolly will be speaking about that. So I, I leave that to Tomás. But overall, I don't think uh, the fans, media will, you know, will, will 
be you know noticing anything different. I think the decisions will just be quicker, and obviously there'll be uh, you know there it'll take a bit of getting used to, but I don't think it'll interfere in any way with the uh, with, with the game of football. What do you hope football can learn from this, Alan? What are what are FIFA looking to learn from this? Well, I suppose it's part of the knowledge gathering around the whole area of concussion. Uh, I'll just go back to maybe 2006 World Cup. Uh, it was decided that a straight elbow was a red card. And as you know, if you're in a World Cup situation, a red card is three games. And that, for any player who committed that offence and got a red card, their competition was, in effect, over. Um, so the reduction in straight uh, in elbow kicks as they called them then it's a strange term but in the reduction was of the order of 30 percent just by that rule change so obviously we hope to gain some knowledge about the types of injuries that cause concussion we hope to be in a position because um sometimes it's obvious when you run onto the pitch that a player is concussed sometimes it's not that obvious it takes a while and that can be um more than a few minutes so it can be when you're on the side of the pitch trying to assess the player it can be when you're in the dressing room and may even be the next day so it'll help to build our knowledge base and hopefully put us in a better position as i said to make decisions around the um, welfare and safety of of the players and finally alan if, if players coaches managers club officials want to learn more where can they get some more information on this well, our concussion guidelines, the FAI concussion guidelines are on our website. Um, we had a meeting of our FAI medical committee on the 12th of January to update those. So they are uh, the current guidelines, but they're uh, under review all of the time. Uh, but they're available uh, for everyone uh, on, the, on the website.